Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about AS attribute and AL attribute definition. This is very, very important. AS attribute and AL attribute. So try to understand what is the meaning of AS attribute and AL attribute definition. Okay. So before going to AS attribute and AL attribute definition, first we'll try to understand what is the meaning of synthesized attribute and what is the meaning of inherited attribute. Okay. Just say. Synthesized attribute. So what is the meaning of synthesized attribute? Try to understand the definition. If the attribute value, if the attribute value, if the attribute value at a node, if the attribute value at a node is computed, if the attribute value, if the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its children, in terms of its children, then it is known as synthesized attribute. Okay, so just see if the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its children is known as synthesized attribute. Just try to understand. Suppose one example, A to B, C, D. A to B, C, D is a production. See, A to, now we'll explore A to what? B, B, C, D. What? If the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its children, that means we'll compute A, we'll compute A in terms of B, we'll compute A in terms of C, or we'll compute A in terms of T. That means A, we'll compute AI in terms of what? BI. We'll compute AI in terms of children like CI. We'll compute the parent AI in terms of children likes DA. Okay, we just mentioned I is not, uh, we can also write like this A equals to B, it's not a problem. Okay, so that means what is the definition? If the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its children, means parent will compute, parent will be computed in terms of children. This is called a synthesized attribute. Okay, so. Next one, it is best suitable for bottom of parser. It is best suitable for bottom of parser. How it is best suitable for bottom of parser? Because we just, we just compute what parent in terms of children. Means BI bottom of, we just will we'll compute what A, if B value is known or C value is known or D value is known. So this is one type of like bottom of parser. This is one type of like what bottom of parser. Means B value is known, C value is known, and D value is known, then we can compute what A. Means if children value is known, if children's value, children's value are known, then we can compute what parent. So that's why it is called as bottom of parser or best suitable for bottom of parser. Now we'll see inherited attribute. So what is the meaning of inherited attribute? Let's see. This is just the reverse. This is just the reverse. If the attribute value, if the attribute value is at a node, if the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its parent, in terms of its parent or from the left sibling, in terms of its parent or left sibling, then it is called as inherited attribute. Okay, see. Suppose same example, what A to B, C, D. Okay. So A to, we'll explore A to B, C, D. B, C, D. Okay. So here we'll compute B, we'll compute B in terms of parent, means we'll compute B in terms of parent. Okay. We'll compute C in terms of parent like A. So CI equals to A. We'll compute D in terms of parent like what A. So DI equals to A. Okay, just see the definition. If the attribute value at a node is computed in terms of its parent or from the left sibling or from the left sibling. Okay, these are the parent conditions. Now we'll see. We'll compute CI. Just see, we'll compute CI in terms of AI, AI means parent or left sibling or left sibling. 
will compute C i in terms of left sibling like what B i. B i. Will compute D i. Will compute D i in terms of left sibling like C i. Will compute D i in terms of left sibling. Left sibling like what? B i. Okay. Suppose I'm just writing. B i will compute B i in terms of D i. Is it possible? B i in terms of D i. No, it's not possible because this is called as the right sibling. D i is the right sibling of right sibling. This is called as the right sibling of B i because D i is the right sibling of B i. That's why we can't compute. Okay. Either we'll compute from parent or we'll compute from left sibling. Okay. So it is best suitable for top-down parser. Okay. Because if a value is known, we can compute B i, B, C, R, D. That's why it is called as top-down parser. Okay. So now we'll see S attribute definition. Now we'll see the S attribute definition. What is the meaning of S attribute definition? A S T D. S T D means syntax directed definition. S T D means what? Syntax directed directed definition. Okay. In short, it is called as S T D. A S T D that uses only synthesized attribute. A S T D that uses only synthesized attribute. It's called as S attribute definition. Okay. If any HTT, any HTT or HTT only use synthesized attribute, this is called as S attribute definition. Very simple. Okay. Next point, semantic actions. Next point, what? This is very, very important. Semantic actions are always, semantic actions are always placed at the right end of the production. At the what? Right end of the production. That means, suppose, a to B C, A to B C. So the semantic, this is, these are the let it is semantic rules. So semantic rules always, semantic rules always present at the right end, at the right end of the production. Okay, right end will just present right end of the production. Okay, this is very very important. What is the Third point, attributes are evaluated with bottom-up parsing. Yes, of course, it is bottom-up parsing. Why? Because it is it uses synthesized attribute. Synthesized attribute means what? Parents, parents will be computed in terms of children. So that's why it is called as the, that's why attributes are evaluated in terms of bottom-up parsing. So that's why it is called as S attribute definition. Okay, now, We'll see L attribute definition. What is the meaning of L attribute definition? The same, a HTT or syntax directed definition that uses both synthesized, that uses both synthesized and inherited attribute. Means it uses both synthesized as well as inherited attribute. It's called as L attribute definition. It's called as L attribute definition. Okay, so semantic rules, the see semantic rules are placed anywhere on RHS of the production. Okay, semantic rules are placed anywhere. Semantic rules are placed anywhere on RHS of the production. The see, suppose one production is like what? A to B C. Okay, now we can place anywhere, just like see A to we can place here B C. We can place semantic rules here, or like suppose A to B, we can place also here, then C, or we can place like this, B, C, like this. Okay, so semantic rules, we can place semantic rules anywhere. But in case of S attribute definition, we'll place semantic rules at the end, right end of the RHS production. Okay, what is the next point? Attributes are evaluated by traversing past death first, death first and left to right. Death first and left to right 
okay when we will uh, construct uh, when we will do some example when we will do some examples like uh, s attribute and l attribute definition we will try to understand uh, how to how to use depth first and left to right how to use depth depth first and left to right okay one important point here just say s attribute s attribute uses only synthesized attribute only synthesized attribute and l attribute uses both synthesized and inherited attribute okay s attribute uses only synthesized attribute and l attribute uses both synthesized as well as inherited attribute so that's why that's why every s attribute definition is called as l attribute definition every s attribute definition is called as l attribute definition but every l attribute definition need not be s attribute definition this is very very important very very important every s attribute definition is called as l attribute definition but every l attribute definition need not be s attribute definition okay now we'll see some examples of s attribute and l attribute definition okay so find the s attribute the question sir find the s attribute and l attribute definition okay one production is given one production is given now we'll find the s attribute and l attribute definition okay see so, a to b c you see here a to b c it's given the same here b i to b i will be computed in terms of a b i will compute in terms of a means children so children will come b i will compute in terms of a this is b i will compute in terms of a i means this is uh, synthesized uh, sorry b i will compute in terms of a i means uh, this is synth parents sorry this is inherited attribute sorry this is inherited attribute right now we'll see c i will compute it in terms of b i just say c i will compute it in terms of b i means from left sibling left sibling means inherited attribute a will compute in terms of ci a will compute in terms of ci means synthesized attribute okay inherited attribute means inherited attribute means this is l attribute definition inherited attribute means this is l attribute definition s synthesized attribute means this is called s attribute definition every s attribute definition is also called as l attribute definition that's why that's why this example is called as what l attribute definition l attribute l attribute definition okay now we'll see the second example s to ab s to ab that's it si will compute in terms of means parent will be computed in terms of children si equals to ai that means synthesized attribute si in terms of, si will compute in terms of bi means synthesized attribute bi will compute in terms of si that means it is inherited attribute bi will compute in terms of what parent that is inherited attribute the inherited attribute means this is l attribute definition synthesized attribute means it is s attribute definition and every s attribute is also called as l attribute definition synthesized attribute means this is s attribute definition and every s attribute definition is also called as l attribute definition so we'll call as this is l attribute definition okay now we'll see one more example what a to b c d ai will computed ai will computed bi 
ai will compute in terms of bi means children that means this is synthesized attribute okay ai will compute in terms of ci means children that means it is synthesized attribute the c bi bi will be computed in terms of bi bi will computed in terms of bi that means what it is bi is the right sibling of bi there is no definition we can mark it cross the c bi will computed in terms of ci this is called left sibling left sibling means this is inherited attribute this is inherited attribute if the inherited attribute it is l attribute definition if the synthesized attribute means s attribute if the s attribute definition is also l attribute definition synthesized attribute means s attribute definition if the s attribute is also called as l attribute remember since we cannot compute bi in terms of di so a to bcd it's neither it's neither s attribute neither s nor l attribute definition l attribute definition okay so in the upcoming classes we'll discuss about some examples of more examples of s attribute and l attribute thanks for watching